this, let me tell you, is almost the real life power loader. It, it's a powered exoskeleton. You just saw it over there, but I'm actually going to show you how it all works here at the Delta booth. This is called the Guardian Exo from Sarcos Robotics, and it can make you superhuman strength. It basically can make 200 pounds feel pretty much like 10 pounds. So amplify your strength by a factor of 20. So this is a part of the suit just to show you how much strength that I can get in my arm. So let's see, this is a 50 pound suitcase. So lifting this normally for me, I can do it, but it's gonna be hard. So now with the arm active, I'm gonna see how easy it is for me to lift it. So it's all active, ready to go? Yeah, and okay. if you pull the trigger, just wait for about a second. Okay, so I'm gonna pull the trigger on the arm, wait a second and lift. This is 50 pounds. Look at this. This is absolutely wild. This, so this actually feels incredibly light. I can feel a little bit of resistance, but honestly, this probably feels like I'm lifting not even a pound of weight and I can move it up have dexterity and it feels like absolutely nothing and I'm gonna bring it back down now feels like so incredibly light okay so that's with the powered exoskeleton actually active and working so now if we maybe we can turn it off so we don't have the assistance from the arm let's see what that actually feels like all right so now it won't help you okay so it, now it's not gonna help me I'm gonna pull it and wait for it okay it's hard it's hard like this is 50 pounds. This is really testing my bicep strength. Can't get it very far. This is tough. So doing it with the assistance from an exoskeleton is incredible. And this is all about helping prevent workers from getting injured after doing repetitive tasks day in, day out. So as I said, I'm at the Delta booth. I'm going to show you the exo actually with a trained operator in it right now. So I'm going to unstrap myself. You might have to give me a little bit of help here. Help me unstrap. Perfect. I'm going to come on down. Let's go over and see the EXO in action. Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay, let's come on over. All right, so as I mentioned behind me, this is the Guardian EXO. I'm joined by Ben Wolf, who's the CEO of Sarkos Robotics. Now, Ben, tell me all about the EXO. What is a powered exoskeleton? A powered exoskeleton is a humanoid robot that you wear. So it gives you the ability to lift 200 pounds safely, repeatedly for up to eight hours with no stress or strain on the human body. So what is Delta using this EXO for? Delta will use it for everything from cargo operations, you know, lifting heavy cargo onto planes, uh, to um, repair and maintenance operations, uh, you know, lifting tires. For example, you see one of the props over here, um, the top, one of the heavy tires that weighs a couple hundred pounds, uh, heavy suitcases, uh, repair equipment, all kinds of things. There's a lot of people that are on the Delta team that every day have to do physically demanding work, and this suit will help them with that. This is incredible. So we're seeing the operator getting strapped in right now. And the actual freedom of movement and the dexterity for workers that are using this, this is almost like wearing nothing at all, right? It's very intuitive to use. You just get in and it takes a couple minutes to get strapped in and it just follows your body and amplifies everything that you do. So, you know, it's, it's, it's incredible because you don't have to think a lot about operating the suit. You can think about the job that you're doing and the suit just follows you. Okay, let's take a look. I feel like they're getting ready to step on out now. So I can see this looks incredible. It's like Transformers meets Power Loader meets everything from sci-fi. Now on the end there, there, those are two hooks now. Those are, I'm guessing, for lifting things. Those right? are effectively like tools, and they are quick change tools. It takes 10 seconds to take in or out the tools, and so we can change the tools based on what you need your hands on the robot to be able to do. Okay, and that arm demo that I just lifted 50 pounds like it was nothing at all, that's pretty much exactly what I would feel like if I was wearing the EXO. That's right. So the arm that you just used is one of the arms off of one of our Guardian EXO exoskeletons. Incredible. The crowd here, I don't know if, Celsi, you can count and see how many people. Look at the crowd of people with their phones out. This is an absolute showstopper here at CES 2020. So many people here looking at the EXO and our operator who has been trained to use it. But getting to the training process, it's fairly easy, isn't it? Well, it's as easy it. as what you just did when you were in the arm. You know, it was super easy to be able to use it. And, and it just takes a few a few minutes and you start using it. Amazing. All right. Let's see if we can get some actual some actual lifting going on. Let's see. We're going to lift. So this is a, a demonstration actually so, lifting a tire. And this is the first full body powered exoskeleton in the world. No other exoskeleton like this exists. This is incredible. And how much does that tire weigh? That is a 135 pound tire. Wow. And he's lifting like it weighs it's, five pounds. It weighs absolutely nothing. Yeah. That's incredible. Look at that. Unbelievable. With those end effectors, those hooks enabled you that. And also, 
You can also like let go of those and use your actual arms instead of yes. just those tools. Yes, so you tools. can block the arms of the robot and take your own hands and be able to and, and be able to manipulate tools or other things with fine motor skills. Can you take your arms out? Block it out. So see, he can hold something with the robot, and then he's free to use his hands for something else. So you really wind up having four arms. Amazing and incredible. And can you just do a little bit of walking for us? Come down here. We can see a little closer some of the elements. See, moving really fast. Incredible. You're actually able to walk it up to three miles an hour. So, I mean, when you're fully trained, you can walk at human speed with no, no issue at all. Incredible. How does it feel being in the EXO? It feels good. <laughs> I have full mobility, and I can lift a lot of weight. Can you show us one more thing that you can do, maybe with the blades over here? Oh, yeah, no. sure. No, 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 listen to me. Okay, so explain what he's going to be doing now in the blade work here. So, um, airlines do a lot of uh, repair and maintenance work. Uh, they're always maintaining their fleet, and this function is one that they have to use this very heavy 60-pound tool, uh, that's a torque wrench essentially, to be able to remove the blades out of an engine turbine. So that is normally a two human being lift. Two people have to get on either side of that torque wrench to be able to put it on the engine. So he was able to do it very easily, weight next to nothing for him. And then he could take his hands out and use the ratchet. He's, he's lifting it like it's a feather. That's it's right. incredible, absolutely incredible. And now, and also, as you said, you can actually lock out the arms and then just use do your highly, actual arms. That's right, do yeah. highly dexterous work with his own hands. Incredible. Well, you look like the real life Iron Man. Do you feel like it? Yes. Amazing. Well, thank you so much. This is just one of the many cool things here at the Delta booth. Ben, thank you. Thank you, Mike. This is the Guardian Exo. If you want to find out more about it, I've done a video on CNET. You can check it out. And uh, let's go and take a look at the rest of the Delta booth because there's a lot of stuff going on. Obviously, exoskeletons and big crowds. Um, <laughs> But let's walk around and take a look. So exoskeletons obviously all about helping protect workers, preventing injury and things like that. But what about the passenger experience? When you think of Delta, obviously an airline, you think, well, what about my flight? How is it going to improve my experience of, you know, taking my flight to wherever I need to go? And what about if I'm traveling at an airport and I need to get information, but maybe I don't speak the language or I don't quite know where my gate is. So this is a really cool experience. It's called the Parallel Reality Experience from Delta and a company called Misapplied Sciences. So I'm gonna take you inside. This is a really kind of really cool and wild experience. Let's, uh, let's take a step inside. We're gonna come on through. We're gonna come on through. VIP access, you and me, okay. So imagine you're at the airport, you've got your boarding pass. We're gonna come on through. I'm gonna stay here until something's And this is a display that's basically gonna show me an individualized set of, of uh, visuals based on me and my flight. And then you and anyone else is gonna see something completely different. It sounds like science fiction, it really is. Okay, so we're gonna come in and have our boarding passes ready to scan. This is Robbie, hi Robbie. How's it going? Thanks Good. for coming today. Good, so I take my boarding pass. I'm going from Vegas to Charles de Gaulle Airport and I am going to scan it like so. And then I'm going to walk on in. And then we're also going to scan our cameraman Celso. He's going to get scanned in. Come on in. Okay, so I'm at the airport and this screen is displaying me customized information based purely on me. So you don't need virtual reality glasses, you don't need AR glasses, you're seeing customized information for me. It says, hello Lexi, welcome to the airport of the future. And it can cycle through different screens as well, depending on where I am, what information I need, and what gates I need to go to. But you can see what I'm seeing. I wanna show you, so this is individually tailored to what I'm seeing. There is a camera up in the ceiling that is motion tracking and basically I am an object and as soon as I scan my boarding pass it knows what information I need to see and my eyes alone. So if someone else is in this area, they're not going to see anything on the screen. So let's take a photo and see because you're obviously seeing what I'm seeing right now because we've scanned in Celso as me. But Robbie is going to take a photo and you're going to see that no one else is seeing what you and I are seeing right now. This is what everybody else is seeing. It's wild. So I'm seeing Hello Lexi, and this is seeing the parallel reality experience. This is crazy. Like, I can't see that, 
I can only see the screen that has my name on it and my details. Okay, this is this is wild. So Albert from um, Misapplied Sciences is the CEO. I want to kind of get a bit of an idea. Okay, this is wacky, wild technology. It's all to do with certain pixels. Tell me about how it all works. Sure, maybe to set the context real quick. Um, you know, thank you so much for coming by. You know, this is the first ever time that we're showcasing parallel reality displays outside of our lab in Redmond, Washington, where parallel reality display can each show different content uh, to different people simultaneously. So how the display works is on a fundamental pixel level. Each pixel of our display can control the color of light that it sends in different directions. In contrast to a normal LED video wall where a pixel emits the same colored light in all directions. So our pixels can emit red light towards you, for example, so when you look at the pixel you perceive red. Whereas simultaneously the same pixel can emit green light to the, towards the person next to you, so that person sees green while you see red. This is wild. Did you take a lot of inspiration from science fiction in the movies? I feel like this is, I, you, know, you know the movie I'm talking about here. There are a lot of movies that talk about futuristic technologies and uh, what's really interesting about parallel reality here and why we uh, were in stealth mode for so long before we debut uh, this technology is we knew people thought it would sound like science fiction. And so we knew having a great fantastic partner like Delta to launch the first ever commercial application of parallel reality in Detroit middle of this year, um, that's how we actually bring parallel reality to the world. Thank you so much. It's like It's crazy, it's wild, it's science fiction. As you said, it is going to be available in Detroit and this screen can actually display images for around a hundred people at a time, although in the future that capacity is going to be in the thousands of people. So if you imagine in a busy airport, thousands of people are not going to be wanting to see every information that you're wanting to see. So it's going to be able to pinpoint and individualize all the information. I'm running into people. It's so busy. The Delta booth here at CES 2020. It's absolutely wild. There's cameras everywhere. Let's see if I can take you a little further inside. A little further in. I'm going to walk backwards, do a little shimmy. Okay, so obviously Delta is all about the passenger experience. And uh, part of the passenger experience is, of course, the app. So the app is also now, the Delta app is going to be able to give you information before your flight about things like it's going to predict the weather, it's going to predict, be able to get traffic information and tell you, hey, you actually should leave for the airport like 20 minutes earlier than you should because there's an accident along the way or something like that. And there's also going to be the ability to continuously watch your content from the screen that you have. Say you're watching a show, you want to continuously watch it in the app while you're in the air. So this is just a bit of an experience that gives you an idea of the whole process here at Delta. And okay, let's go look at the piece de la resistance of first class, which is the Delta One Suite. Oh, okay, so it's been a, been a long day. I'm going to sit back in my first class cabin. Just enjoy. This is, a, this is a comfortable seat. Look, I am never going to be able to afford to fly a first class, probably not even business class. So I'm going to have an idea of what it actually is like in the suite. So let's take a look at this seat. Okay, I want to go into a lounge suite lighting. Let's see. Let's see what will work. Can I move it into a lounge? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Relax. I mean, Maybe for some of you that fly first class or business class a lot, this is not exciting. But for someone like me, this is absolutely crazy. Okay. Ooh. I feel like I'm going to... Dentist chair. Okay. Oh, oh, this is nice. This is nice. Oh, relaxing. Oh, this is very comfortable. Okay. So this is actually in planes now, which is kind of nice. Um, and also, of course, where would it be without a screen? So let's uh, tap through and see what happens. It's a little bit of a Delta video here, keeping it real with in terms of anticipating what you need with the traffic status through the Delta app. Yes, you can hail a lift through the app as well and keeps coordinating your day. So this is a, a little sneak peek inside the life lifestyles of the rich and famous. I'm just going to go back to uh, the land of mere mortals now, unfortunately. I have to say goodbye to the uh, Delta One first class suite. Anyway, this booth is really, really cool at CES 2020. If you are on the show floor, definitely come and check it out. But if you're not, you're getting a little bit of a sneak peek right now. Okay, so that's first class for you. <sighs> so I hope you enjoyed the Delta experience here at CES 2020. We have exoskeletons, we have predictive travel, and we also have first class suite. And 
that real that screen technology where I can see something and you see something completely different is absolutely wild. Definitely come check it out and keep an eye out for it in Detroit in the coming year. Thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned to CES 2020 and CNET for way more coverage.